Hi guys, okay, so in this video I wanted to show you a little trick um, that will allow you to brighten up all of your layers in one go. The, the, I was creating this box and I put it into my into a game engine Unity and it compresses the texture so much so it takes a bit of uh, illuminosity, if you like, out of the textures. So when you apply them it just looks a bit dull and flat. So it's almost like you want to um, add extra brightness to your uh, objects, your, to your textures when you're texturing them. Now this object's going to be about, let me just show you, it's going to be about this big on the screen in this thing that I'm creating. Uh, it's going to be about this big. So you don't really get that close to it, but it just looked a little bit, a little bit dim, a little bit dark. So what I'm going to show you now is how to brighten the whole lot up universally across all layers. I've got wood rough one and wood rough two. And the reason why I've got two of those is because uh, some of my wood grain is running in the uh, wrong direction. The UVs that you can see on the inside, which I'm not worried about, is running in the wrong direction. On the outside, it's running in the correct direction. And I've used that additional layer to separate those and then rotate the UVs so it's correct. And that's fine, you can do that. Um, and I've got an edge, bit of an edge wear on it. As you can see, um, some dirt that I've applied to it, which is a bit grimy. And then I've got a bit of steel. Well, the steel is the handle. There you can see, and these little clips are stuck to the side. Now these are just textures. Um, there's no geometry there at all, but from a distance they look they work fine. You know, I don't need anything more than that. You know, small and it's gonna you know at a passing glance, that's perfectly fine. Don't need anything more than that. So let's get to the point and to brighten up your textures. Uh, so here so I've got another paint layer which adds a little grimy dirt, and then at the top I've got this additional layer. Now all this is I'm gonna create a new one, I won't use this. I'll just call it Brighten uh, to bright everything up. Um, if I turn it on, you can see it really pop makes it all pop, which is what I, exactly what I want. Now to do that, all you do is create a paint layer. I call it a paint layer. Um, it's not a fill layer. It's a paint layer. Do that. And then you add a couple of filters. So you come up here, you add, uh, add a filter, click on the filter bar here. And you can add what have I got there? Co color correct, and that's that one there. So I can add that, and we can add another filter. And you can see I've got a levels there, so I can just add a filter or add a levels. There you go. I can just add it there. And I've got a levels. It's just turn, it doesn't matter which way around they are. And what I need to do is make my uh, layer a pass through layer, so it just passes, puts passing it through. The stuff below is just filtering it. Basically, what it's doing is going through that layer, but it's using these filters that I've got on to adjust them. So that's basically what's happening. So I go on here, uh, I select the pass through, which is the second one on the list, like that, and nothing's changed yet because I haven't adjusted any of these. So if I come down to my layers now, I can now just start adjusting these, and it will adjust my my entire object. Not like that because I want it to go the other way. So I can adjust the top like this and pull it up to as much as you need. Don't go too crazy with it because you can make it look a bit ridiculous. And But it's just to give it a little lift, you know, like that, for example. That's that's probably enough. I don't want it any more than that. Um, I don't want this one as well because you get double. So just one filter layer will do. And you can use the color correct if you want to within the shadows the midtones and the highlights uh, to change or to to enhance the colors so if we, we can increase the you know the saturation really bring it uh, alive and make it pop and it does it on, like I said does it to all the layers that's passing through that layer because substance painter renders from the bottom upwards so it's going up there through this layer and then your final result obviously at the top and this is what it's doing it's changing the saturation here I can make it less if I want to 
uh, increase the luminosity, pull it back down. You know, there's a lot you can do, a lot you can play with in that respect. If you've used Unity, then you'll know that, you know, it look, if you take it in like that, which is what it was before I added this layer, it will look really flat and dark. You know, and what you want to do is bring it up. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you that. I hope you find that useful. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like. If you want any of my courses, you'll find them in the links below. Uh, so that's it for now. I will see you next time. Bye for now.